Hello students, a lot of this class we're going to be using Power BI, especially in regards to forecasting, consumer segmentation, things like that. And each student is going to have their own data set. And the first thing we want to do is make sure you can get into Power BI and you can download your data. Let me give you a brief glimpse of what we're going to be doing. Each student is going to have their own unique data set that looks like this. And these are hypothetical data representing what sales data aggregate organization might look like. And so each row here is a, a different sale of a product. And so you, this first line here, this, uh, this uh, firm, they sold $333,900 worth of a product on this day. And so the first column here tells you the value of the sales, the total revenues from the sales. The second column tells you the date which the sales occurred. The third column tells us the ID of the customer who purchased it. The fourth column is the SKU number. That's like the barcode of a product. So that's the identification number of the product you sold. And this primary ID right here, that's just a, a record number of the sales. And so we're going to be importing one data that looks like this, except each student is going to have a different data set with different numbers, where the sales and dollars look different here. You'll also be importing another set of data. Now, this data set is going to be the same for everyone. And this is information about the customer. So in the first, there's a different row for each customer. And the first column tells us the first the customer ID and that customer ID should match one of the customer IDs here. So it tells us the customer ID, their zip code, latitude, longitude, everything about where they're located, things like that. The first thing we want to do is find the web page that has the data. It will be under a Power BI model in Canvas. You just click on the link and it will open up a web page. It's going to be two data sets you want from here. One is the customer information file and it's going to be the same for everyone. And so you just find the link for that and go ahead and download it. It's going to be a CSV file, the customers, like the customer use.csv. And then you want to find the sales data unique to you. So now what you want to do is find your name. If you were Brady By, you click on that. But this is me, Bailey Norwood. And so I'm going to click on Bailey Norwood. And it's going to open up the data. Now, that's not how I want it. So I'm going to back up and download it by right-clicking on that link and saving link as. And then I want to make sure I save it under my um, downloads folder. And I'm going to save it there. Now, do notice that uh, your file name will be different. For instance, if Brady By goes to click their link, the name of their file is going to be sales and then some digits there, an identification number. So your file name will be different. You're going to be using these data all semester, so we want to go ahead and put them in a folder that you can keep and access anytime. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to find the two files in my downloads folder, and then I'm also going to create a new file for this, a new folder for this class. So I'm just going to call it AGEC4223 for the name of the class. And in there, I'm going to paste both of those data sets that I downloaded. And whenever I make a, do work in Power BI and I make a Power BI file, I'm also going to keep it in that folder. And now I'm going to go ahead and open Power BI. Now remember, Power BI can only work on PC. So if you have a, a Mac, you'll have to go to a computer lab or something. And I'll have a... Okay, so I'm opening up Power BI here, and uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give it a, a file name. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it every time I do something new in it. And this, these are the, this, in this exercise, I'm mainly just going to be reading in data, so I'm going to go to my class folder. I'm just going to call this read data. 
All right, and so uh, I've started the new Power BI file, and now I'm going to go and start importing data. Now notice one data file is a text file, txt, and another one is a CSV file. And so I'm going to get data, go to text CSV, and I'm going to go ahead and get my sales data first. And this is a very large data set. It has over 300,000 rows and you could do some transformations here but we're just going to go ahead and load everything and it's going to take a little while to load and so you can see it loaded it right there and then to that's the reports where you make graphs but right here is where you actually look at the data so we're going to take a peek at the data real quick and here we are and so notice the first column has the amount of sales the second column has the date of the sales and the third column has the customer ID of who bought it. The fourth is the SKU of the product, the barcode. And the fifth is the, just the record indicator. Notice here we have 385,439 rows. So it is a big data set. Often here we state what kind of data we are dealing with. Now this SKU Notice data categories uncategorized. I'm going to go ahead and tell it that it's a barcode because that will be useful for later. Now you might think I could go to date here and say that it's a date category, but you can't. We'll see why later. We'll have to make a special table for dates. I'm going to go ahead and save this now that I have my data in there. I think, and now we'll go get that uh, the other data set, the smaller data set, the one that's the same for everyone with information about each customer. And this is the cust use file, so I'm just going to import it. And you see here I, I could like decide which columns not to use and stuff, but I'm going to go ahead and just load it all and now I we'll have a, another table of data here. If you look to the right you can see I can choose whether I want to look at the sales data or whether I want to look at the uh, customer information data. And notice you can expand it to look at all the different variable names or fields for each uh, for each file. Now notice both data sets have this same field called customer ID and they both refer to the same pool of customers. That's what links the two data sets together and we need to make sure Power BI understands this by making a link between the two customer IDs in the modeling page. So I'm going back to Power BI and I'm going to click that modeling tab right there and notice that there already exists a link between those two and so it Power BI automatically linked the two for us but suppose that link wasn't there so I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. Suppose you go to the modeling page and this is what you see. All you need to do is drag one consumer ID up to the other one and that tells Power ID that those refer to the same people and you now have a link between the two data sets. Okay, now I want you to look at something. It's showing me an error here. Look closely, see if you can find that error. It's kind of hidden in there. So look really, really closely. Sorry about that. I was just kind of scared you were falling asleep. Now let's go ahead and make one, uh, one figure here. Let's make a bar chart showing the total sales of each SKU throughout all the data. So I just click that bar chart area. I'm going to expand it. And now this is like a pivot table, the way this works here. And I know on my uh, y-axis I want the SKUs, the ID of the product, and then I want on the x-axis the total sales, the sum of sales and dollars. And it gives it to me right there nice and neat and so it's going to be 50 SKU there and it's going to show me the total sum of sales by SKU notice that you can go up here and you can see it as a table if you want to see the the raw numbers there 
But also we can, if we want to export the table, we can do that as well. To export the table of data, we just go up there and click and export data. And we can export as a CSV file. So we're going to go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to go over to Windows Explorer and open it up just to make sure that it, it did it right and to show you how it works. So there's the new file we just created. And yeah, so you can get just the data you want, export it, and do more things with it if you want. Now, of course, when you crunch these numbers using your unique data set, you're not going to get the exact same numbers that you see on the screen here. They're going to be similar, but it's not going to be exactly the same because your data is different from my data and everybody else's data. Well, that is all for now. So what I want you to do is re repeat what I just did but using your unique sales data and save that Power BI file as you're going to be using that data, your unique sales data, for all your Power BI assignments.